Steven here from Recreational Power Sports coming at you with another new Viaggio we got in stock here. Got this one rigged up and ready to go. So it's a 22S, a Lago S. So the S stands for swing back. I'll show you what that's all about when we get inside the boat. But a couple nice features on the outside of the boat here I'll go through first. First off, you can see we got it matched nicely with a Shorelander tandem axle trailer. It's got that Rock Guard exterior black color. So uh, it uh, eliminates rust and it looks really good and sharp. It's got brakes on both axles, jack, and you got the nice steps with the front bow stop. Very nice trailer. As we come alongside the boat itself here, we got the black corner caps, the rub rail, as well as the top rail. We also have the black exterior with the silver sides. Okay, so as you can see here, very nice looking boat underneath. We got the white lights and the exterior. Super cool to have underneath the rub rail. It just makes it pop during the day or during the night, I should say. As you come back, you can see the tandem axle, black bimini top as well, and nice deckling as well on the back of the Viaggio here. When you get to the very back of the boat here, you can see we got a nice four-step ladder. Nice thing with the four-step ladder is that you can get in and out of the boat a lot better. It's not so cumbersome. It's nice and easy to get, get up and out. Underwater lights, as you can see here, ski pylon. I think we got it paired nicely with a 150 Merc. On the opposite side of the boat here, you could see we have a nice size swim platform, which allows you to jump in and off of the boat nicely with the kids, everything, and just have the ability to utilize the back of the boat very nice. If you want to follow me inside, I'll show you what the inside's all about. On the inside of the boat here, you could see how the nice qualities of the Viaggio. First off, you're going to notice we got a tritone color seat, which is super cool. It just makes it pop a little bit there. Um, and just makes it, the interior look really, really aesthetically pleasing. Uh, underneath the seat, you can see we got the rotocast tubs. So the nice features with this, if water does come in here, it falls alongside the seats and it goes out the back instead of falling into the rotocast um, box itself. It's a two-part hinge here, so you push it right down to pull it out. You can actually just pull it forward and then pull it like that, right? So nice feature to having two-part hinge just makes it a lot easier to open and close. As you come to the back, we got ourselves a nice table. We got the nice plank looking flooring. Very nice there. The helm is fiberglass. So the nice feature with fiberglass is that if it does chip, crack, or sun fade, you can polish it out real fast and, and or repair fiberglass. Plastic's a little harder to repair. So at the main helm here, you can see we got tilt steering, which is a cool feature. One of my favorites. So it allows you to get in and out of the boat easily. We got all of your switches here and we got this one equipped with Simrad. So Simrad here, it's on a demo right now, but it's got your, it's got your fish finder aspect and then you can change it to motor if I can. Okay, there we go. If you could set it to motor and it'll show you all your features of your engine and stuff, show you all of your parameters and all your gauges. Super cool. Just to have it in one location. As you can tell, we got the interior lights on here. So underneath the seats, very nice option. Cup holders as well. Just makes it uh, a little bit nicer on the eyes. In the center, we got a ski locker, nice and big in there. Allows you to put all your tubes, your skis, your knee boards, whatever you want. Life jackets, throw it all in there. Nice and big storage. As we get to the back here, you can see this is the S model. So a couple nice things that this one does. So the S is a swing back. It makes a complete nice bed. One of the biggest in the market, as you can see here. If you pull it up, if we get to there, you could be facing backwards and hanging out. And then you could also face it forwards and you could sit as a bench and still hang out in the back. Under each component is storage, which is nice. Allows you to hide those life jackets and everything else that you take along with you as you go on the day on the lake. So you come through the back here. You can see it's got a nice aft gate so the kids, the dog, whatever, could stay inside. Easily to hop over if you want to get in and out and easily open to get around and jump off and do all of all your water sports and get in and out of the water very easily. So that's kind of what the boat's all about. If you guys have any questions, concerns, check us out, recreationalpowersports.com or check us out at the dealer.